Today's topic is near and dear to my heart, as I am the proud owner of two of the world's most delightfully spoiled doggies, Zoe and Ruby. Right, ladies? Right, ladies? On April 10th, 1866, the ASPCA is founded. In 1863, New Yorker Henry Berg is appointed by President Abraham Lincoln as a U.S. diplomat in Tsarist Russia. Berg is horrified to witness Russian workhorses brutally beaten by their drivers. On his way home in 1865, Berg visits London's Royal Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals and becomes determined to form a similar organization in the U.S. Additionally, he hopes to pass laws that protect animals and hold their abusers accountable. On April 10, 1866, he convinces the New York State Legislature to approve a charter incorporating the American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals, or ASPCA. Nine days later, Berg succeeds in getting New York to pass a groundbreaking anti-cruelty law. Coming up, we'll learn about an important speech that precedes the establishment of the ASPCA. We'll also learn about the 1866 anti-cruelty law pushed by Henry Berg, as well as the law that succeeds it a year later. We'll also look at how the ASPCA influences another movement. Don't forget to check out Today in History in my Teachers Pay Teachers store. There's a link in the description. Two months before the founding of the ASPCA, Henry Berg gives a speech in New York City. In it, he decries bullfighting, cockfighting, and the beating of beasts of burden. He calls on Americans to protect animals, referring to it as a, quote, moral question, uh, and that this moral question crosses party lines. Berg introduces a Declaration of the Rights of Animals, which is signed by many New York dig dignitaries. The 1866 New York law passed nine days after the founding of the ASPCA is important, but still narrow in scope. It is limited to protecting animals that are considered commercially valuable. It also specifies that the mistreatment has to be malicious in order to be illegal. So under that law, whipping a horse repeatedly and forcefully to make it pull a cart would not be illegal because it would not be deemed malicious in its intent. However, similarly whipping a horse because you dislike the horse's owner would be malicious and therefore illegal under the 1866 law. The 1866 law is still groundbreaking, especially since it includes a provision that makes animal abandonment illegal. This is a major problem in the 19th century as people who own commercial animals such as horses often abandon them in the streets once they are no longer deemed useful. Berg takes things further by pushing a revised version of the 1866 law that is passed the following year. It removes the commercially valuable qualification, specifying in fact that it applies to quote, any living creature. It also removes the malicious intent phrasing. Thus, an act can be deemed cruel based on the objective evidence of what happened to the animal, no matter the intent. It is a major leap forward. In his role as ASPCA president, Berg regularly inspects slaughterhouses and helps police shut down dog and rat fighting rings. He lectures in schools and to various civic and social organizations. By the time of his death in 1888, 37 of the then 38 U.S. states have at least one anti-cruelty law on the books. Interestingly, his advocacy becomes a model for societies that are soon organized to protect another vulnerable group, children. Berg, in fact, serves as vice president of the New York Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Children, which is established in 1874. The founding of the ASPCA marks a turning point in the fight against animal cruelty, and its impact continues to be felt to this day. The organization continues to be a leading voice for animal welfare, advocating for laws and policies that protect animals across the country. And uh, 
I would like to also wish a very happy birthday to my eldest sibling, my sister Dory. I'm the baby, so, you know, everybody loves the baby, right? I think. But anyway, love to wish a happy birthday today to Dory. She's an amazing sister and uh, can't imagine my life without her. If you uh, have liked what you've seen here, please be sure to like and subscribe and know that you can see another great Mr. Lewis video here and another one right here. Thanks for watching.